everyone, this is Lori from The Crafting Auntie coming back to you with a project share that I talked about in my last video. So this is the project share. I have been working on this for a couple weeks, I guess, and um, it is the Tall Winter Kit from my Porch Prints. I totally am in love with our kits. Anyway, I, I had this before Christmas and I didn't get a chance to make it with having to take a trip to Oregon when my mom passed away. So I spent some time to create this tall skinny um, journal. So the first thing I did is I had received some ticking fabric from my sister which is Nana's Crafting Cottage, Pam, and I wanted to use it in the worst way. It's in this blue color and it's just perfect for this journal. So I used the ticking fabric on the outside, and then for the cover, I just added this vintage doily, which I thought was beautiful on here. Then I just added some of the ephemera pieces, a couple of tags peeking out here. And I uh, cut out this skate from one of the other pieces of ephemera. I liked it a lot. And then added this, I think it's like a, kind of like a silk flower. And uh, above the top, this bingo card, which became the pocket. And then I added a couple of these, um, the flower eyelets that I had gotten from Amazon. And then I just used some ribbon that I had that went perfectly with this uh, journal as a tie in, in the front. And I also carried some of this ribbon throughout it along with a couple other ribbons. So on the inside cover, I had received this fabric. Uh, it was gifted to me from a really dear friend. And I also added this lace down here as a pocket. So these are tucked in here. So I have these two pieces um, of ephemera, the tags that go in here. And these are the other ribbons I used, gingham in a light blue and gingham in a brown. It went with everything in this journal really well. And this fabric is, is it's a map. I just love it, and I just thought it went so well with this, with the colors and stuff. So that's what I use there. Tuck these back in. This is the first signature. Now, I did this in two signatures this time. I wanted it to be a little wider spine. I wanted to include more things into it and laces. So in the first signature, I have just used the um, pages from the kit, and there's quite a few because there's an additional kit that I got. There's an add-on kit that has more pages. So I tried to pick out the ones that didn't look Christmassy but were wintry. And then I added some trim here, which I thought brought it out. It's got the blues and the greens, and there's some of that throughout this whole um, journal. So here's the back side. I printed everything double double-sided because there was plenty of pages to do that with. And then I created a pocket here, added some dark blue trim here, and added a couple pieces of ephemera. And then inside I added this tag and this little circle uh, pieces of ephemera. And this is a coffee dyed notebook page that my sister does for me. She knows I'm not a big fan of coffee dyeing, so she does them for me, and I just love it. And on this side, we just leave it plain. We have a vintage coffee dyed doily that my sister also did for me. And then here, I just took one of the pieces. Uh, to me, it looked like a belly band, so I just created a belly band, added a couple of these tags in here, using, again, more of the same ribbon. These are all double-sided as well. And they're still light enough to be journaled on, if that's... Um, what, what the person wants to do. Here, this is a tall ledger paper also that came from my porch prints and it went so well with this. So I just added a piece of ephemera that came with this. Here's another one of the pages. Oh, and at the tops here, let me go back. Um, no, I guess this is the first one. I added tabs. So up at the top, I've used either a dark blue with this light blue ribbon, or I've used pieces of another piece of, of ephemera or page that I had, and then I added the brown. So this one has a beautiful deer. There's just so much to see on these. And bird. And then I just took one of the pieces 
of ephemera that were in there and I just created a little flip out journaling spot. Then I added a ribbon to the bulldog clip. It just barely covered, holds it in there. So just kind of turn it on an angle. Here's the back side of this paper. I created into a pocket out of these two tags. And again, they're backed. I just printed on both sides so I didn't have to uh, glue them onto coffee dye paper or anything like that. Here I added some lace. Oh, it looks like I need to do a little trim here while we're doing this. I'll just go ahead and do that. It's one of the things that I didn't get done. There we go. Next page, a writing page. This is bubble dye paper I also get from my sister. Here's a beautiful scene with this vintage girl. We've got some pine cones up here. Here's a beautiful girl out in a wintry scene. And then this I created into, this is a pocket, and then I added three pieces of ephemera. So there's a tag, a small tag, a large tag, and then just a little booklet that can be written in. And I just tuck those inside like that. Back side of the coffee dye paper, doily. It's another beautiful page. Again, more beautiful page. This kit is just absolutely gorgeous. And there were some things that were kind of Christmassy in here, so you could use it as a Christmas journal um, later this year if that would be what something you want to do. More tea dye paper. I also uh, distressed all the edges in the um, Tim Holtz, and it's the faded jeans. So that's what I used. And this is the oxide. Back side of this one, beautiful deer. Another tab at the top. Let's see, i got to back up because there's another one here. So here is the um, tab out of some of the paper cardstock, and then I use the brown ribbon. So that's what you'll see all the way through on this. Okay, so we saw that in here. And we're right here. So more to bubble dye paper, another journaling spot. Here I used one of these round pieces of ephemera, made a pocket, and added these two tags. This beautiful lady, all dressed, ready to go out in the winter. And here again, gorgeous pictures in here. Tea dye paper, here's another beautiful wintry scene here and here, and I also added um, some of this trim on here. Let me just cut this a little bit. And then on this one, there is another tab. So we've got that. And this is the other side of another piece of ledger paper that came in the kit that was a separate kit. I think it's uh, documents and ledgers or something like that, but it's tall skinny. Another doily, another side of the um, line, rolled paper that was coffee dyed. Here's beautiful wintry flower. And then signature number two. And I did this with a hidden spine. There's plenty of room, so lots of additional things could be added to this. Out of the trim here again on the front. More beautiful paper, more ledger paper. Another decoration, just a piece of ephemera from the kit. I think it's really pretty. Here's a pocket with another tag. And again, these are all double-sided. It doesn't look like it here, but it's a very, very faint, wintry uh, paper. Another doily, another beautiful, uh, she's li like an ice princess almost, I think. And here's another tab at the top. Another beautiful scene. This is more coffee dye rolled paper that my sister does for me. She has this pan that makes these cool marks on it, and I just love it. And then this, I don't think was a belly band, but I it was it was like two pieces that you fold together. So I went ahead and folded it, and then I decided to make it into a belly band here. So then I tucked in this tag and then I tucked in 
this uh, circle piece of ephemera on both of them. This was a fold over so you could journal on it. And then this one is backed as well. So stick that in there and this in there and it peeks out. More bubble dye paper, the other side of ledger paper. Another doily. Beautiful paper, more trim here. I really didn't get to all these trimming. I think I was letting everything dry. That's okay. We can do it as we go along. Beautiful page here, more tea dye paper. Just another piece of ephemera as a decoration. More of the ledger paper. Here's another tab up here. So you can see they're all the way through it. I think there's four on each side. Two blues and two of the some of the paper. This one I made another pocket here, like a tuck spot, out of these two tags. Again, these are backed. More ledger. Another pocket here, which I added this. Beautiful tag to it. Very wintry. The other side of the tea dye paper. This beautiful paper here is gorgeous. Another doily. This is the other um, piece. I made this as a pocket on this side, but on this side it does flip out. So I didn't add anything to the pocket here, but it can be added. I just added the bulldog clip and added a ribbon onto it. Ledger paper, another tab at the top. The other back of the ledger paper, more of this coffee dyed ruled paper, beautiful wintry scene. Another doily, another tea stained, and then this is another piece of the um, paper with a tab at the top. This is the ledger paper. Um, document ledger, I think is what it's called. I'm not real sure, but you can find it at my porch prints. And then a wintry scene here and on the back, and then another pocket in the back, which I added these two gorgeous girls. I think they're really pretty. So I'll tuck those back in here. I'm just gonna trim off this little bit of lace right here. And a tiny bit back here. Just a little bit, not much. There we go. I think I have it all. So uh, in the back, again, the doily, I did a lot of, st I stitched all the way around it in a zigzag. So you can see that all the way around. The inside is a paper bag. I just used a, just a regular paper bag with handles on it. So something you would get at the grocery store in the U.S. Trader Joe's. Um, other stores may have paper bags with the handles on them. That's all I used. And then I just uh, glued the fabric on both inside and outside and then stitched around it and went from there. So there's no buckling or anything on this. <clears throat> it lays very flat. The inside uh, with the hidden spine, I just covered it with the same fabric that I have on the inside and then glued that in after I sewed the signatures in. So that is my winter journal, tall winter journal flip through. And then we'll just tie this back up. I also, you can see I have lots of threads hanging here. I like having some of the threads hanging out. Some do, some don't, whatever, whatever you like to do. Um, anyway, that is my project that I wanted to share with you today. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Go check out my porch prints. They have so many beautiful, beautiful digital kits, just along with a lot of other creators out there on Etsy. Um, I just become partial to them because I've been buying from them for quite some time. So if you like this journal and you want to give it a try, then uh, take a look out there at my porch prints. And um, I'll try and link this particular kit um, both kits, or at least I'll just link the shop and then you can go check around and see if you like it. Okay, that is it for today. I'm still figuring out what I'm going to be doing going forward, um, but I'm going to come up with some kind of a project here real quick. So hope to see you soon, 
And you guys all have a great day and God bless you all. Bye.